Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Mary Kanu. Justice Binta Yako of the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja has denied the bill application of the leader of the Indigenous People of Biafra, IPUB Nandi Kanu. Ruling on the bill application, Justice Bita Yako said the issue of Kanu's absence in the past since 2017 should be determined before his bill application will be entertained. She added that Kanu breached his former bill conditions and until that is heard, his present bill application is immature. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has arrested the former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Patricia Ette, of our alleged contract fraud. The Special Duty Unit of the anti graft Agency had arrested her following suspected involvement in a solar power electrification project scam in a Bomb state. Ette, who was elected Speaker in 2007, had allegedly received 130 million naira from a contractor who was awarded the contract in the state by the Niger Delta Development Commission. The Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, has asked Facebook to prevent the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPUB, from using its platform to incite violence. Speaking at a meeting with a team from Facebook in Abuja, Mohammed said the social media application has no justification for yielding its platform to the organization whose aim is to destabilize the country. A New York City authorities have placed a COVID-19 alert status too high because of a recent surge in people being hospitalized for the virus. The change in status came as the number of hospitalizations in the city due to coronavirus had increased steadily over the past two months and as more and more New Yorkers tested positive. The upgrade also came a day after authorities announced that the city would be distributing an additional 16 million at-home test kits over the next month. In business, the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission has clarified that reviews do not automatically translate into an increase in electricity tariffs. The Electricity Market Regulator made this known in a statement published on Tuesday. The clarification came following backlashes that greeted recent reports of an increase in tariffs by electricity distribution companies. And Britain's annual inflation rate surged to a 40-year high last month on rocketing energy costs. Official data showed on Wednesday, sparking opposition calls for the government to announce an emergency budget to combat a cost-of-living crisis. Consumer prices index inflation hit 9.0% in April from 7.0% in March, the Office for National Statistics said in a statement. The ONS estimated that April was the highest level since 1982 and the fastest rate since the current data series began in 1989. And in sports, Liverpool ensured the Premier League title race went right to the wire as they came from behind to win 2-1 at Southampton at St Mary's Park on Tuesday night. Nathan Redmond gave Southampton a short lead, however Liverpool hit back through Takumi Minamo and Joel Matip. The Reds are just one point behind leaders Manchester City with both teams having one game left. Of that's the size of a news bulletin, do join us again at the top of the hour for more. Thank you for watching.